community, a culture, a society's prosperity, its ability to function is directly related to its accessibility to energy. So energy enters into everything that we do, right? It ties directly into our ability to provide for our families, to raise our children, and it ties directly to our uh, physical, emotional, and economic well-being. So JCSER is a public-private consortium whose vision is to transform transportation and the electricity grid with high-performance, low-cost energy storage. So everyone thinks that Edison was this lone guy in a garage coming up with all these great ideas. In reality, he was a part of a big team, and that's essentially what JCSER is. A big team of scientists and engineers working together to try to invent the next great battery. Well, it's important to bring a bunch of scientists together on a unified mission. So what I love about it is that we have hundreds of people that all have similar united mission, and that mission is really well known to all of us. So the world has a lot of problems in front of us. I mean, I think uh, you know, the global warming has become a real issue. We need to find a way to move away from foreign oil, which means that having transportation fuels that we can get from electricity instead of getting it from fossil fuels will be very important. To do that, we need better batteries. And today's batteries can give us limited range, cost a lot of money, our hope is that we can decrease the cost of these batteries significantly and improve the range. Jay Caesar has the potential to make batteries that make us not need any gas in our vehicles. And this would have a huge impact in transportation and in our national security if everything that we use to power our lives comes from energy that can come from a renewable source as opposed to burning fossil fuels that's revolutionary. The second thing is there's a lot more penetration of renewables on the grid but the sun doesn't shine all day, the wind is not blowing all the time, which means that we have to think about how to store the energy when the sun is shining so that we can use it when it's not shining. For that, we need better batteries, we need them to be cheaper than what they are today. So J. Caesar is working on both of those things, very important problems that we have to solve. At J. Caesar will cover a spectrum from the basic science all the way through the prototyping, right? But already, in terms of the innovations, a number of new chemical systems that have the potential for you know, radically changing uh, the face of energy storage have been developed. Uh, we've also uh, started thinking about entirely new ways to design and to build batteries. You know, tomorrow's battery won't look like uh, the battery that you're accustomed to today. It won't be just a cylinder, it may not be just a box. These will be new forms of chemistry that are used in new mechanical adaptations as well. So battery chemistry, it means the fundamental materials that make the battery work, right? And so if you think about the AA batteries that we put in our children's toys, those are different than the batteries that are in our cell phones. We basically want to make the next battery that can store even more charge and less space. In, in microchips, you move electrons around, and they typically don't damage the conductor or the semiconductor material. In batteries, you actually move matter. So you move ions, you move molecules, you, use, you move physical matter and that is damaging to the matter that surrounds that physical matter that you're moving. So the biggest number one challenge is how do you move that matter around and either store electricity or release electricity where you can do it thousands of times without damaging that material to the point where the battery degrades as they do today. The biggest challenge of energy storage is getting beyond lithium ion and that space is intimidating because one has to design the entire system from scratch. No one, no small research group and no single company can easily undertake a task that big. Jay Caesar has the advantage that its team, 14 partner institutions and 140 people, is big enough to cover that ground. So one of our goals is to reduce the risk and the intimidation of the beyond lithium ion space and entice some other players from universities, from industry, uh, to join in the beyond lithium ion space and to accelerate the progress in getting to the next generation of energy storage. Batteries have evolved slowly, I believe, because there have been too many silos and we're breaking down all those silos in Jay Caesar. The way I think of Jay Caesar is that, you know, it's a, it's a team project. In some ways, you might call it even a team sport. And this is, you know, I can say this is the best team I've ever played on. This is the most exciting thing I've ever been involved in, in in the 27 years I've been in a national laboratory. In a science research career, there are a few opportunities that come along where there's an opportunity to really make a difference. And you're teamed with the right team, the right group of people, a dynamic environment that has some funding to be able to focus on uh, opportunities to really make contribution. I couldn't ask for anything more.